week of Easter 3, Saturday, the suffering of Christ and the faithful soul. Let destruction come upon them unawares, and let the net that they hid ensnare them. With destruction let them fall therein. Psalm 35, verse 8. Dearly beloved, the Christian may present this petition before God against those who are digging a grave trap that would ensnare a faithful soul and bring him down to eternal destruction. Surely the enemies of the Lord and his gospel seek to overthrow the whole Christian church on earth. They wait with a cautious ear to pick up on a weakness to exploit. Their cunning words have their source in the agenda of Satan and are meant to lead a soul in the valley of the shadow of death unto death. These enemies of the church have no use for the God of grace or for the justification of the sinner by faith in Jesus. The Lord will answer the petition of the faithful who suffer under the persecutions that are of this world. Jesus said it, and his word is true and certain. Woe to the lawyers! Woe to the scribes and the Pharisees! Woe to the hypocrites! Woe to those who hinder the people from knowing, believing, and trusting the key of knowledge. And as he said these things to them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to press hard upon him, and to provoke him to speak of many things, lying in wait for him, and seeking to catch him in something he might say, that they might accuse him. Luke 11, verses 53 and 54. The pressure on the Savior is building as friend and foe draw near Jesus. These wicked enemies of the gospel lie, cheat, try to ensnare, accuse, and finagle in order to find something that could be used against Jesus to silence him. The band of disciples whom the Son of God called to be fishers of men listen and learn. They are in training and are hearing the word of God applied to the lives of people, both friend and foe. These servants of the word will most certainly need to be grounded in the scriptures, for they will be attacked, rejected, and some of them martyred. The congregation of the faithful follow the Lord who gave his life for the world. The people within are the faithful disciples of Jesus. This is the church. As Christ is attacked, so is the body of Christ. The vicious attacks leveled against Jesus during the days of his earthly sojourning will be directed against the church and the children of God. As Jesus was attacked for forgiving sins, so will beloved pastors who forgive the repentant in the name of the Holy Trinity. They will be rejected and condemned. Likewise, faithful congregations and trusting Christians will be scorned for seeking the pardon that Jesus earned for all when he died on the cross. The pastor and congregation join in believing, teaching, and confessing the doctrine and hope of the resurrection. God's word of grace comforts the soul, even as the Christian is being ridiculed and attacked. Prayer Lord, abide with and watch over your church, especially those who are suffering for your name's sake. Grant them steadfast faith, courage, hope, and assurance of your love in peace through the forgiveness of sins in the means of grace. Amen. Hymn number 528, stanza 11. Who clings with resolution to him whom Satan hates must look for persecution. For him the burden waits of mockery, shame, and losses heaped on his blameless head. A thousand plagues and crosses will be his daily bread.